seem like much, does it? No, not much. Only hours and hours of work. Drawers full of files, boxes full of reports, freezing our butts off in a surveillance van on Michigan Avenue, the wind coming off that lake. You know, the two and a half years I haven't even had as much as taken a weekend off. All comes down to this. If it's Carmen. Oh, that's Carmen. I'd recognize that witch anywhere. Go check it out. Yes, sir. This better be good. I'm missing the second half of CSI. Well, that's why God created VCR, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Marv Morris, this is Gus Ituro. Marv Morris, our chief enemy. Ituro, you're the Fed from Chicago. I hear you've been giving forensics a tough time. Sure, until they uh, decided to get off their butts and do their job, then I turned into a real nice guy. So what do we got? We got a body, Marv. The divers pulled her up from about uh, 20 feet under that part of the dock right over there. Uh, it was Tim. Tim! I'll let him fill you in on this. You guys know each other, right? It's uh, just skeletal remains, no soft tissue. Well, that should make for an easy ID. She was wedged underneath the piling. Uh, there's a weight around her ankle. She? Well, it's just a, a guess based on the victim's size. Everybody's an expert. Show me. He's a charming fellow. Takes one to know one. I bet you a hundred bucks that is Carmen. I'm not arguing that it's Carmen or not Carmen. I'm just saying, how did she turn into fish food? I think I know the answer to that. And on that note, I think it's time to get in touch with Dr. Ramsey. Get her to take another crack at getting Danny to confess. Doc, miss me? What do you want? I need an encore. I need you to take another crack at getting Danny to confess tonight. What are you crazy? Forget about it. No, I'm not out of my mind. I'm not insane. I'm very serious. I can't. Look, he is not stupid. He knows that I'm doing something. He's on to me for something and he... Look, I, I just can't do it, okay? He, he will suspect that I'm doing something if I show up twice in one night. Yeah, well, then you, fi you figure out a way for him not to know. How? My son-in-law and I are barely on speaking terms. It would be completely out of character for me to show up and have yet another chat with him. All right, well, then tell him this. Tell him that your lawyer called you and, and told you there's a whole lot of police activity down by the old dock. What kind of police activity? You don't need to know the details of that, okay? Just tell him that your lawyer said that it has something to do with Carmen Santos. You got it? You hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Yeah, and? I'll, um, I'll give it another try. No, don't guess. Just do it. How's it going? Sorry, this is a restricted area. I know it's a restricted area. I'm one of the people it's restricted to. You can't go down there. Let's start this again. Maybe you didn't see this. This says detective. Hey, Frank. Listen, I heard on the radio that we got divers down here. What's going on? That's what I'd like to know, but Phoebe here is giving me a hard time. No, he wouldn't do that. Seeing how this is our jurisdiction. Not if he knows what's good for him. Come on, guys, I'm just following orders, all right? I guess whose orders those are. What is the problem? Oh, is there a problem? Ah, oh. it's you two guys, of course. We found out you dispatched one of our diving team here. Uh huh. And our medical examiner. To this location. We want to know why. Right. Well, you know, that's on a strictly to need to know basis, and actually, you don't really need to know. You're walking a thin line. Well, now you're starting to interfere with my case, so I suggest you back off. What are you doing here? Sis. That's right. Harley's with me, okay? I'm sure you'd like a little family reunion. It's just going to have to wait till we're done. What's going on here? Like, we found... We found some things, okay? And I'm sure you'll read about it in the news like everybody else tomorrow morning, right? Why don't you let us handle this? What do you mean, us? 
What, you working with him now? You know what? I I'll call you. I'll call, uh, I'll call later. I'll... Marv's ready for us. Hello? Marv is ready for us. Let's go. So what do you got? What do you got for us? Well, the divers were right. It's a woman, just a skeleton. The watery critters picked her clean. She's been down there a while. How long? Well, until I do some tests, there's no telling, but, uh... There's no tissue, so it's gonna be tricky identifying her. What about the dental situation? Well, if you know who it is and you got the records, you're sitting pretty. She got a full set of choppers. Well, we know who we hope it is. Well, if you know that, then uh, identifying her is going to be no problem. Cause of death is another story, unless by some miracle she was shot and there's a bullet lodged in a bone. Well, how likely is that? Not probable, certainly possible. Well, you got any good news for us, Mark? Hey. Yeah, the good news is that the little lady was wearing some jewelry. Had a gold chain around her neck and a, a diamond ankle bracelet that had little gold letters that spell out a name. Carmen. Outstanding. I'll say. There is a guide. So excuse me for asking the stupid question, but, but when I hear the name Carmen associated with the homicide, a, a certain particular Carmen comes to mind. Yeah, well, that's the one we're talking about, Marv. Well. Wasn't Carmen Santos the victim of a mob hit last year? The body was cremated and uh, she had a big funeral. That's what everybody thinks happened. Look, what you're talking about or what people think, we want them to continue to think that, okay? Until we decide otherwise. And as far as this bracelet is concerned, nobody knows about that. That stays between us until after the autopsy, which will be when? Tomorrow morning? The soonest I can fit you in is about 11. <laughs> Mar, can you cut me some slack, please? How long could it possibly He's take? What time are you going to the lab? accommodating you. Eleven will be fine. I figure you want to be present. Oh, I'll be there. So will Cooper. She'll bring the popcorn. 